Hi there, Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your July 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, for the month of July, I'm doing things a little bit of different Libra, and I'm just focusing on the energy that are in place within the month and what we can expect and how we can actually navigate the month of 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 july 2020 for each and every signs and for you guys it's for libra again it's still a general reading so it may or may not tune in for each and every individual out there so just keep that in mind so um yeah let's go in and dive deep into the reading and see what's going on so the first card that we have over here is a five of swords for libra and you know just taking a look on the cards that we have here we already know that this is a month of haziness you know there is an element we're in yes there is something that is driving you to move forward with life to make some form of changes or at least you know to stop that stagnancy in your life because i kind of feel that you know a lot of libra people libra rising or if you are heavily a libra in person there's a lot of regrets in your life a lot of things that you hope that you have changed but were not able to do so there's a lot of past energies here and a lot of thoughts and reflection going on. We do have the clouds over here as well. And you know, the tower and the clouds um, together like this is um, not really of a positive alignment because it's like telling us that there is confusion in us. But at the same time, because of the positive alignment of the future, we have the bird, the, 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 the fish, and the child card. We have here an energy wherein the future is looking bright. We are seeing that if there is a possible, um, maybe, you know, um, something that was stuck in the past right now, some form of communication is going to pull through. But there is also a period of confusion because of this clouds and confusion eventually will lead to some form of clarity remember we also have here the three of spades and yeah and the king of spades so there could be something that is troubling your mind and when it comes to a love relationship reading like this one uh, we can easily assume that this could be someone very important to you, someone who has authority. Um, it could be a particular man that you have a very strong tie with. This can also be a situation wherein maybe you're just being hard on yourself for one reason. This could be a situation wherein, you know, you're trying to work hard on something but nothing is happening. And even if you try to communicate or maybe you're thinking of communicating but there is you know there's no ending point to it so whether you're communicating with someone or not i kind of feel that there is no engagement going on at the very least in this reading you know um whether you're taking action you're not taking action nothing is going anywhere so this could be you know just be something that is happening to you personally um, into your internal life or you know into your love life specifically but you just kind of feel that you are in a situation wherein you are running in circles you're not really going anywhere and it sucks the life out of you to be in this type of situation you do want to change you do want to have some form of stability and you know you want to move forward with your own life and it shows us that i just kind of feel that you know it would take a lot of work eventually you are going to stand up and come to realize that you need to you cannot let the past hold you back anymore or at the very least even if the past is holding you back you still need to live on and and live life because there is an energy here we're in you know maybe quite a few of you are isolating yourself 
and you know not really going anywhere just being stuck at home and, and not really doing anything pro productive or anything like that but we are seeing here that slowly and bit by bit you are going to to maybe um have some form of communication with someone or start a project uh, it could be something to do with your business it could be a contract with someone but you are definitely going to start something we do have here your moon in the sign of leo in the third house also with the astrodites this can really you know be very much reflective with how you are thinking right now it's very much in the moody kind of sense and you know a lot of your emotions is leaking out of you and this can be manifesting in a way where you are repressing everything or you are expressing everything to everyone to a point wherein it's causing a lot of confusion so this can actually manifest in two different ways wherein you're actually butting heads with people because you're overly expressing yourself maybe you don't know where to channel the energy because you're feeling overwhelmed with a lot of emotions maybe because of what has been happening in your life in the past but all of this is being accumulated because of stress you know feeling you know you don't you cannot control anything or a relationship you cannot control your own life you know it's like you're being suffocated one way or another and another aspect this can happen is that you're keeping everything inside of you and instead of communicating with someone you're not doing that but eventually though there is going to be some form of action that is going to be in place and it could be something that is actually meant to occur you know you are meant to engage with people to communicate to bond with someone hence we do have here the ten of pentacles and the devil card you know you cannot always fight alone you need to fight with a partner and that is what libra is always about you know you are a mirror <laughs> and you always need to be in connection with someone or in a group of people even and that's what you will come to realize you know eventually if you have been tr having troubles um with your own life with your emotional life psychologically or whatnot eventually you will need to come out of your own closet and realize that you know you still need to do something you cannot just you know get stuck on one place alone because this is going to slowly kill you and if you keep living that that will just lead to more depression and your health will suffer as a result this also might be a time wherein you come to realize of your own appearance or how your actions in the past have turned you into that kind of energy you know whether you re you're going to realize something from the past basically maybe it's a realization of yourself in the present or what you have become in a positive way or in a negative way either of those you need to come into terms with that and move past it and overcome that but the bottom line here is you have to let go of the past and you need to remove all of the things that are confusing you and even if you cannot remove them you need to come to realize that you still need to um you still need to live you know this is like you know having some form of hygiene ethics every day you know whether you are very tired and all of that you still need to go to a shower and clean yourself it's not something of a requirement or anything it's more of it's like common sense or it's like something that you have to do you need to remove the things that are holding you back you remove the toxic things toxic connections things that are confusing you i kind of feel that um another way that i can easily put this is that instead of 
instead of controlling yourself too much on what you should do what your mind is telling you to do in a very logical way this is for you to to go all out with your emotions stop stop stopping yourself in taking action it's okay to be selfish sometimes but you also have to know whether what is the right thing to do what is not the right thing to do all at the same time there is a balance in between and there's always a thin line when yet whenever we take action for pleasure for example there's always a thin line of between you know good sexual pleasure and those that are immoral if you get what i mean so it's very um I would say it's very abstract but the message here is that you need to move forward and this is the month we're in you know you need to remove all of the debris and the baggage that you have been carrying especially I, I kind of feel that there is really a lot of confusion here and a lot of issues from the past I'm not telling you guys to move on and to forget about the past because I do know that each and every individual is going to have their own experience about this but I would say that do not forget that regardless of what happens in the past you still need to stand up and walk forward you still need to have your own destination you still need to have a goal so don't um, don't shy away and shove away any opportunities and knocks that comes your way this month basically so um yeah connect with people and then for your advice card let me see what we have over here i forgot to pull it earlier yes so we got here practice and focus and and this has this is more of a message we're in you know even though it gets hard to do things it's hard to move on it's hard to heal it's hard to heal all you got to do is to you know push through the adversities by by accepting it and you know continuing to do it just like how you practice how you practice writing for example you cannot just write whatever you think it takes a lot of writing experience or writing practice even a journal every day can make a difference you know being positive and all of that it takes it takes a lot of practice it takes a lot of time it's not something that you can do all in one go but at the same time it's very important that you are not being confused you know because some people tend to get stuck with the past and never move on even though they have already moved on they have the habit of going back to the past or going over the issues that are not necessarily important and now so this is the time for you to to either rebuild things but remember to move forward remember that you know you need to move to the future alignment not to the past alignment whenever we go back to the past most of the time people just focus on going back to the past but going back to the past is actually allowing us to repeat the same mistakes and to repeat history one way or another but the idea here of being able to go back to the past or at the very least if you want to resolve something in the past this is for you to resolve problems so that it moves to the future so that you know you can bring your past to the future it has that form of energy it's not about just going back to the past it's about you know going over there and actually reaching some form of goal or outcome or accomplishment that is actually the idea and that is actually what i wanted to share with all of you libras out there so um yeah this is the time we're in you're starting to wake up once again we're in you know maybe it's that time of the month we're in it's you have to tell yourself that you need to wake up go to work or go back to reality or come into terms of some form of realization that 
maybe you should have accepted in the past but did not really do so something is really meant to show up for you this month and you need to accept that and you need to you know to move forward with life basically so um yeah this is my reading for you guys libra and i shall see you guys again next month again this is just a general reading energy reading so communication is going to be very big for you guys but remember um there are also some form of confusion which you need to sort out at the end of the day so don't make any final decisions and you need to you know take into consideration of what will allow you to move forward with life i'll see you guys again next month